Hey everyone, meet Kevin here. In this video, I have to talk about what is possibly the ugliest, the dirtiest legal scam in real estate that I have seen yet. And it has to do with home investment loans. Now, many of you know me, some of you might not know me. I've been in real estate for 11 years, a real estate broker, real estate investor. I own over $20 million of real estate with my wife, no partners, it's just us. We've got about 50% equity in those properties. We love real estate and we also love loans to the point where I was also a licensed lender at one point while I was selling real estate actively. So I've been through VA loans, FHA loans, home equity loans, home equity lines of credit, refinances, cash out refinances, hard money loans, private money loans, you name it. We've even used margin from stocks to cash buy fixer uppers and then refinance after. I mean, we've done lots of different things. So when I hear of new loan options, sometimes I get excited. I'm kind of interested, like, okay, let's hear it. What do you got? And so then I came across the home investment loan where the lender will invest in your home with you, give you money up front, you make no monthly payment, but in return, you share some of the appreciation of your property with the lender. And if home values fall, well, they lose money too. So let's understand what's really going on here and if these are actually worth it. So take a look at this. Here's just an example of one type of company that does this. Look, happy family. Why are they happy? Well, they're happy because you could get up to $350,000 with no monthly payments ever. <laughs> and if you are a homeowner, all you have to do is click this shiny little yellow button over here and go ahead and throw in what your home address is. So I just grabbed a home address off of uh, Zillow over here. It's not a property I own. I don't know anything about this property. Uh, just a recent sold uh, in, in the city that I live in. And so let's see if this home qualifies. So you put in an address. And really what this software is doing now is it's just pulling the Zillow estimate from Zillow, pretty close to at least. And they're gonna throw the home value here. And it doesn't even matter what you think your home value is. You can make this number as large or as small as you want. It does not matter what you put in here. You just hit continue. And the sole goal of you filling out this form is to get your information. First name, last name, email address, phone number. Because obviously they want to sell you this product. Now it's worth noting over here on the right side that uh, you'll see these sort of generic things here, like Point provides lump sum payments of between $35,000 and $350,000. Yes, yes, that sounds great. At the closing of your home, we'll deduct three to 5% for processing. Okay, well, I mean, so would any lender. Any lender would charge some form of fee on the loan amount. Uh, you know, if it's a large loan, they charge a lot less. If it's a small loan, they charge more, right? These are gonna be smaller loans, so three to 5% makes sense. I mean, 5% on a $100,000 loan, uh, you know, I mean, that's, that's chunky. It's 5K in processing fees, uh, you know, three to 5K. But okay, there'd be processing fees if you did a cash out refinance or whatever. It'd be a few thousand dollars of processing fees. Uh, and uh, an escrow fee, typically between 450 to $750, and an appraisal fee. Now, it's worth noting that just because you filled in a fancy number over here does not mean that your home is actually going to appraise for this. In fact, this number is entirely meaningless. The appraiser does not care. Licensed appraisers are going to use comps in your neighborhood, and then they're going to evaluate the upgrades, the positives and minuses of your homes versus other homes, and then they're going to give you a valuation, which might be substantially different from the Zillow valuation, worth noting. But so far, this is typical of any loan process. This would be true with home equity lines, it'd be home, true of home equity loans, true of uh, refinances. You're always stuck with that appraiser, right? So, so far, this sounds good. I mean, $35,000 to $350,000 with no monthly payments? Golly, I mean, sign me up, right? Well, not so fast. See, here's something to know about how point.com works uh, and a lot of these, these home investment loans. First, what you want to remember or ask yourself is, what do you think about the real estate market? Does the real estate market tend to go down over time? Or does the real estate market tend to stay flat over time? Or does the real estate market tend to go up over time? Well, I think all of us could agree that over time, the real estate market goes up. Now, the real estate market doesn't move in a straight line though. Sometimes we get these crazy runs up and these crazy runs down, right? We have real estate cycles. But on average, we tend to see homes appreciate in value over time. And this makes sense because the value of homes tends to ride a little above whatever inflation is. So as things get more expensive, homes get more expensive. This makes intuitive sense. Now, 
What Point.com and these home investment companies are doing is they're saying, hey, we'll invest in a slice of ownership of your home. They don't actually go on title, so it's not like you're deeding them anything because then you could alienate your lender, but you're making a contract with Point.com. And in return, you have no monthly payments, which is kind of cool because you get money, but that won't show up as debt to income, like when, when you go qualify for a rental property or another property, right? So that's kind of cool. You can get a lump sum of money and all you're doing is promising to share in the appreciation with point.com. So intuitively you think, oh, well, if my home is worth $500,000 and I give a slice or of, of my home's value away to point.com, uh, like let's say 10%, then hey, I'll get a 10% lump, right? Well, that would make sense. Like if I came to you and you said, hey, Kevin, uh, do you wanna buy 10% of my home? You know, you could, you could give me 50 grand and you could have 10% ownership. Well, that would make sense, right? But that's not exactly what point.com is doing. In fact, point.com is doing what I think is kinda shady. Now I get it, it's a business, they're in it to make money, but here's where things get a little shady. If they invest about 10% in the value of your home or $50,000, which is what we'll see on their website in just a moment, they're not going to take a 10% share. They're actually going to take a 30% share of any future appreciation. So they invested about 10% of the value of your home, but they're taking 30% of your appreciation in return for that. That's a big old premium, but wait a minute. They're also not going to invest in your home at its current market value. They're going to invest in your home between 15 to 20% below market value. So they're really investing in your home at let's say $420,000 when you get $50,000 from them on a $500,000 home. Now, you might not believe that. So take a peek over here. Let's go straight to their website and let's explore on their calculator see how much a homeowner could get today and how much it would cost. Here's a $500,000 home. Point will invest $50,000. And in exchange, you give up 30% of the appreciation. See, point share of appreciation. In exchange for Point's investment today, Point receives a share in the home's appreciation above a risk-adjusted home value. The share is determined during underwriting. So it'll be something likely around 30%. Of course, to be determined by underwriting, but the expectation is it's going to be around 30%. So they're investing in the scenario that they have on their website. They're giving someone $50,000, which is 10% of the home value, in exchange for 30% of the right to whatever future appreciation happens. That's a 3x ripoff, first of all. But here's where it gets a little funny, this risk-adjusted home value. And I'm gonna show you a perfect scenario where this is just disgusting. Okay, watch this. Because point shares in downside, if market values go down, point applies a risk adjustment of 15 to 20% to offset small declines in home value and protect its initial investment. Okay, interesting. So what they're saying is your $500,000 property in their mind is only worth $420,000. Now this becomes really interesting when you go to sell your property. Let's say you signed this contract with point and two years later you decided I gotta sell. I just have to sell this property. I can't keep it anymore. I'm going to sell it. Let's say after two years, your home is literally still worth $500,000. Well, think about that for a moment. Just ignore point.com for a moment. Think about that. So somebody invested in your home while your home was worth $500,000 and they are going to take 30% of your future appreciation. Well, two years later, you sell it for 500 grand. Well, there hasn't been any appreciation, right? Wrong your home appreciated $80,000. Your home actually appreciated from $420,000 to $500,000 in their mind, which means they get their money back and their fee because they just built that in. So literally, if you sign this contract and then right away wanna pay it off, you're upside down. Let's say you wanna pay it off after two years. How much would you pay? Look at this, no change in home value. They literally tell you in their calculator right here. Future home value is flat, $500,000. Well, you're gonna be paying point.com $70,100. That's the 50 grand back plus another $20,100. Wait a minute, $20,100 
is the extra that you're paying. So $20,100 plus the processing fees, let's say it was 5%, so that's $2,500 in processing fees, plus the escrow fee, say $600, plus the appraisal fee, say $600. So, <laughs> excuse me, your home value stays flat. And for your right to get that $50,000, you're paying $23,800, which is almost 50% of the loan amount. That's if the property's value stays flat. So let's do math on this because the big sales pitch here is that you don't make any payments. Oh, no monthly payments, right? That's the big sales pitch. Well, what if you took out a $50,000 home equity line of credit? Well, $50,000 home equity line of credit at 4% interest would cost you somewhere around, uh, at 4% interest would cost you somewhere around $2,000 a year. Well, wait a minute, $2,000 a year? We just spent $23,800 after two years on point.com. If after two years you pay this thing off and you spend $20,800, that's like paying an annual rate of $11,900 on your $50,000 loan, that's like paying 23.8% interest in two years. That's like a credit card. That's a ripoff. That's an insane ripoff. Now, what if you held it longer? Okay, well then it'll be less of a ripoff, right? Let's go out to seven years. The average length of time somebody keeps a loan is seven years. So after seven years, you'd be paying $23,800 on top of paying that money back. Let's say after seven years, your home is literally still flat. Like you just bought in an area where there's no appreciation. Your home value has not changed at all. That's $23,800 plus the processing fee, plus the appraisal, plus the uh, uh, the, the whatever, uh, escrow fee. That's $27,500. $27,500 divided by seven years means you're paying interest of $3,928 per year on your no payment loan. And if I divide that by $50,000 to see what interest rate that looks like, that means I'm basically paying 7.8%. So after seven years, you're still paying 7.8% interest, essentially. That's nuts. So if you pay it off soon, you're basically paying nosebleed credit card interest. If you pay it off during an average amount of time, you're paying 7.8%. But wait a minute, what if the property's value goes up over 70 years, or over seven years, seven years, over seven years, let's say it's now worth $636,000, okay? Well, point is going to get $114,400 minus the original $50,000, that's principal. So they're gonna get a $64,400 fee plus the processing fee, appraisal fee, and escrow fee. So they're gonna charge you $68,100 to have this loan for seven years as your home is appreciated. Because remember, they're sharing in the appreciation, right? That's like paying $9,728 per year. And if you were paying that on a home equity line of credit for $50,000, that would literally be like paying 19.4% interest per year. So, so far, if you like the idea of no monthly payment, you're gonna take it up, you know, the behind in a different way. And it's just gonna be behind the scenes. This is scammy Fugazi, where they're making you feel like they're investing in you, but you're really signing up for a big, fat, ugly credit card. Now, in what scenario does this make sense? Well, it somewhat makes sense if your home value goes down. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. They have a risk-adjusted value here. So let's say you have a $500,000 home today and it falls to $420,000. Like you bought a home for 500 grand and all of a sudden, one year, two year, three year, five years later, it's worth 16% less. Well, wait a minute, like the home value went down, right? I mean point should share in that that reduction, right? No, they don't at 420 because that's their zero point. At 420, they literally still get their $50,000 back. They just might not charge you those additional appreciation fees. You'll still have your processing and appraisal and all those other fees though, right? Now, if your home value went down to 375, which would mean your home value fell 25% and 
right when your home value fell 25%, you decided to sell at the bottom of the market for some reason, okay? In that scenario, wow, you got them. You got $13,400 off of their loan, but you just sold at the bottom of the market. Like the odds of, of this large, of, the odds of you taking this loan and then the market declining beyond their risk adjusted 15 to 20% discount. And then you selling at the bottom of the market, in my opinion, is very low. It's possible, but it's very low. So in other words, the scenario where you win is a very small chance. My guess is less than 10% chance that would happen. Probably honestly way less than that, but let's just go with that. That means 90% of the time, you're probably paying, probably, okay? I'm making an opinion here. Point.com, don't sue me. It's not my fault. I think you're running a scam. This is an opinion video. And I could say whatever I want in an opinion video. And I think that your company is scamming people because you're telling people they don't have a monthly payment, but it's really like you're charging them credit card nosebleed interest rates. In no scenario, in like 90% of scenarios here, not in no scenario, but in 90% of scenarios here, I think homeowners are getting ripped off, offering 10% of their home's value at a 15 to 20% discount to give up 30% of their home's appreciation. I am blown away. Like, quite frankly, this is, in my opinion, such a scam. I wouldn't be surprised if people are watching this video thinking, how can I invest in the company doing this? Because that sounds really profitable. Except I don't invest in what I think is a scam. I would not touch this company with a 10 foot pole. I would not use this product. I would not invest in the stock. I hope companies like this disappear because I think they are misleading people and people aren't actually doing the math to realize how badly they're getting screwed. Like if you wanna do a loan like this, no, scratch that. I was gonna say like call me because that's easy money, but then I'd be scamming you. That's just like wrong. Like no, <laughs> no, it's just don't do it. So now what did we learn? And I know, I know I'm a little aggressive and potentially a little too heavily one-sided here. But look, your net worth does nothing to me. I, it doesn't matter if your net worth is negative a million dollars or a hundred million dollars. It doesn't matter. The reason I'm making this video is to provide value because I feel like this is a ripoff. I have no interest whether you use them or not. It does zero difference to me. It's not like I'm a lender today. I'm not a licensed lender. It's not like I want you to call me up. I will not sell you a house. I don't actively sell people's houses anymore. Uh, I will not help you buy a house and I will not do a loan for you. So in my opinion, I have no conflict of interest here. I just think this is a ripoff. That's it. That's all. I'm sorry. Rant over. Thanks for watching. <laughs> uh, if uh, any of this stresses you out though, you can always go to metkevin.com slash life and get life insurance in as little as five minutes. <laughs> Thanks so much, folks. Bye.